Microsoft introduces a new AI system called Jarvis. No, not this Jarvis. It's a completely different Jarvis. It almost looks like this. So this is a system that Microsoft has built on top of their recent paper called Hugging GPT. So in this video, we're going to learn what is Jarvis, what Jarvis can do, where is the Jarvis code base, and uh, what is Microsoft doing with that. So this is what this entire video is going to be about. This is not a tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to run Jarvis. Rather, we are going to discuss everything around Jarvis and also this craze of building autonomous AI that everybody seems to be interested in building an autonomous AI without having human intervention. So let's start with what is Jarvis here. So Microsoft a couple of days back introduced this new open source project called Jarvis and uh, the code is not completely released. The code is some part of the code is released already. So now what is Jarvis? So they recently released a paper called Hugging GPT. So the Hugging GPT is like a system where uh, the large language models can talk to Hugging Face Model Hub and try to get things done and then finally come back. So Hugging Face Model Hub, if you're not familiar with Hugging Face Model Hub, to quickly show you what is Hugging Face Model Hub. Okay, this is another model. So to quickly show you what is Hugging Face Model Hub, it has got thousands and thousands of model. At this point of discussion, we have about 169,000 model. You name a task, you most likely would see an open source model. You want to do text classification, you have a model. You want to do feature extraction, you have a model. You want to do object detection, you have a model. So which means one of the largest repositories or largest centralized location of all AI ML models is Hugging Face Model Hub. So what Microsoft decided to do is, okay, I've got access to this large language model like GPT-4 or GPT-3. 3.5 which can generate instructions about what to do can i ask this model gpt4 or gpt3.5 to talk to all these individual systems and coordinate and finally get an output and that is exactly what jarvis is doing so if you look at microsoft what microsoft in fact is doing is let's look at this example first what is this example the simple human instruction goes like this please generate an image where a girl is reading a book and her pose is the same as the boy in the image example JPEG. So the example JPEG is given. Then please describe the new image with your own voice. So first, it's a multimodal system. There is a text that is being given to the system and the text while being given to the system, there is an image that is given to the system. While the image is being given to the system, there is also a question about compare this image with some other image and also give the response back in terms of speech. This is the entire system. Now this system has got four sections like, or four steps. The first step is task planning. The second step is model selection. And the third step is task execution. And then the fourth step is response generation. If you have been seeing all the recent videos that we have been covering in terms of autonomous AI, you would see a very similar pattern about how everybody is almost approaching this in a very similar architecture. Now what is task planning? When you give this as an input prompt or a text to this AI system Jarvis, so this is going to plan the task. Task 1, task 2, task 3, task 4, task 5, task 6. The first task is you need to get post control. The second task is post to image. The third task is image classification. Fourth task is object detection. And the fifth task is image to text. And then the final task, which is to describe the image in its own words, like our language, or sorry, voice, is text to speech. This is the set of tasks that is planned by the first setup, first stage. After that, the respective models are selected. Okay, out of these models, which model should I pick? Which model should I not pick? And for that, it actually goes to Hugging Face Model Hub. And you know, like the moment you want to do pose, you can go here and search for pose. And then you know what kind of models are available for post control and thereby create new images. So that is exactly what this system is doing in the second stage. And the third stage, the actual thing is getting executed. First, we plan the task. Second, we identified the open source models to do the task. And third, we have executed the task. And fourth, the response is generated. And finally, the response is collated and given back to us. So what is the image? The image like this is given to the system Jarvis here and uh, the please generate an image where a girl is reading a book and her pose is same as the boy in the image. So this is the image given to the system. So first the system takes the pose of this boy and tries to generate an image where the girl is reading a book. And then finally it creates an audio output where it says a girl sitting on a bed reading a book. It might look slightly simple, but this is a complicated system that talks to a lot of different things. 
and it also opens a completely new area like until now all the autonomous ai systems that we have been discussing they have been trying to connect it to some system for example lang chain and then create uh, things done like you know smaller things some somebody has connected it to zapier so that it can do certain automation imagine you have got the world's powerful ai and then it's connected to the largest open source uh, ai models hub which is hugging face model hub i'm not sure what kind of repercussions it might have but the point here is that it can basically pretty much do anything that you want you want to build let's say the most probabilistic solution like a stock market trading application probably the system can do it you want to build an application where uh, you know you want to do natural language processing probably this system can do it you want to generate 3d images out of something probably this system can do it because there are open source models for natural language generation within hugging face model i think it's a matter of computation it's a matter of connection and this system the hugging gpt paper has almost kind of cracked this thing so if we have to fully understand the system we have to go to the hugging gpt and understand this so solving ai tasks with chat gpt and its friends in hugging face so what this system what this paper ideally explores is can we connect this chat gpt or gpt4 or gpt3.5 with the existing largest base of open source models and in fact hugging face has its own endpoint like api so doesn't need a gpu to run it it can actually you know run everything by itself that's exactly what this is doing so what their final system is hugging gpt is able to cover numerous sophisticated ai tasks in different modalities i think the key here is different modality we are not talking about only text we are not talking about only image we are not talking about only voice we are combining all the modalities that are available here and all the domains achieving impressive results in language vision speech and other challenging tasks which paves a new way towards advanced artificial intelligence nobody is calling this agi nobody is calling this autonomous agi or autonomous ai at this point but they are calling this advanced ai and that is exactly what this paper is saying so if you have hugging gpt you can give a text and that can go plan the task select the models create or execute the task get the response back and give it back to the user and this user finally sees this thing with the whatever the image that has been generated i think this is quite impressive and uh, it looks like almost like microsoft is like bang on with respect to ai and they want to do something and jarvis being one of the most popular names in the ai world uh, thanks to iron man of course uh, jarvis being one of the most popular names you can see mark zuckerberg has got a system called jarvis um, andre karpati on his twitter profile you know that you know he's building something jarvis like on open ai and now microsoft seems like they wanted to actually ship something called jarvis and they've got something called jarvis so this is the system quite impressive if you want to try this out i i have not tried this out to be honest so they have given the system requirements you need a gpu i don't own a gpu personally so um, unfortunately i cannot try but you also need more than 24 gig ram and uh, this is the step if you want to try it out try it out here you can actually specify what uh what kind of model you want to use so for example if you want to use text davinci oo3 which is the three, gpt 3.5 you can specify here the most important thing that you need is you need open ai api key and also you need the hugging face cookie which you need to get when you have logged into the hugging face system and then you need to add it here so i think after that you can also run it in a cli mode so you all you have to do is call the server go inside the server and invoke the command and then you can say oh welcome to jarvis a collaborative system that consists of an llm as a controller and numerous expert models as collaborative executors so jarvis can plan tasks schedule hugging face models generate friendly responses huh? friendly responses based on your request and help you with many things please enter your request if you want to exit exit so you can give the message have a chat based communication with jarvis the future is quite exciting um i'm not sure where it is going to end but you can see you can give uh, like an uh, input as a human given a collection of images a b c please tell me how many zebras are in this picture so you can there are three images that are given so one is a cat's image second one is a zebra's image and the third one is like three zebra's image and it it actually says sure i can do that and it gives me like a lot of information and finally says there are four zebras in this picture is there anything else that i can help you with gpt4 was launched with multimodal capability but it almost looks like people have figured out how to get that multimodal capability and then show that final output to you know people without having that gpt4's multimodal capability people are still using gpt4 or gpt3.5 which is only text at this point 
but they have figured a way to connect with existing systems like hugging face model up to get this done jarvis looks pretty exciting let me know in the comments what you feel about it all the required links will be in the youtube description see you in another video happy prompting